Hi there, it's Leandra from Paper Artsy and this video is to tell you about Elizabeth Bora who was a new designer for us just at Christmas last year and in 2014 she made some of these Christmas stamps which are beautiful images of women, very Art Nouveau and little Christmas elements crept into here so we've got ivy, she put fairy wings on the back of some of the women so that they were like Christmas fairies and she's got little Christmas words tucked in there as well. So the ivy, um, mistletoe, all of holly, those sorts of elements came through. And some really cool baubles, which she also has used subsequently to make flowers and things. So moving on, she's got very similar designs. Very feminine and pretty. She's amazing at the flourishes that she does. Um, and these faces are just stunning. So much detail that comes in for colouring and uh, the stamps as you can see all there on the easy mount. Here's the next one. EEB04 is the code so that's for Eclectica Elizabeth Borer plate 4. Um, love this little buzzy wuzzy in there and some of the frames are square and some are round. The round is just a really nice soft way to go and she always gives us little embellishments that you can use for layering over the top. This one, Liz has done an amazing sample with this where she sort of made it quite 3D. Again, fantastic flower. She's just such a natural at drawing all of these things. And then the last plate so it's, it's really nice for us to bring some very feminine style stamps and I really like how she's going for the whole Art Nouveau style. So let's show you some samples that she's made and some of her supporters. This sample's from Sheila Thompson and she's done some really great colouring in here using um, EEB Plate 3. So she's got little yellow flowers in the background and this amazing swag at the top. I just think it's a really pretty element. Here's another one from the same stamp set. So she's created a really cool background using the ribbony flourish. And just the face comes to life. As soon as you add the smallest amount of colour to the cheeks, it just really gives it a lift flowers are so pretty and these of course are using our new purple range of paints so they've had a lot of fun working with those four new colours of paint. And Sheila also worked with plate six so here's a very simple tag using one of the flowers of plate six and then another one here which is using the uh, flower image with the lady next to it from plate six as well. And then we also have got some samples from Danielle Haddon. And let's show you this one first. So this is plate five. She's created a nice little heart-shaped hanging um, and using this image here, really demure image with the woman just sort of peeking out from um, the swag of fabric. And you can make this fabric look like lace or a heavier, or it's just um, really cool how you can sort of make it look different depending on what colour you shade it. And this one's quite a simple, easy card to do. It's great. Just lay it up and using the um, a flourish on there. She's embossed in gold. And we've also got here really lovely colouring on the skin tones there. So this is from plate four. And then she's done one of these amazing concoctions. Look at this. And that's using the image again from EEB04. A lot of colouring in there. And she's done a background on here with the paint, which is very similar to how Liz does them. Real sort of using um, a baby wipe and applying the paint and just sort of squidging it around a bit. Creates this sort of marbled background almost. Fantastic technique. Okay, and let's take a look at some of the samples from Liz. 
So here she's used um, the paint, the fresco paint, to colour this in, and there's quite a lot of dimension going on. So she's cut and layered out a lot of the flower images just to give a bit more dimension to it. And she really gives movement the way she sort of gets them to fall across the paper and she rounds off the card. Great shading in there and on the face she, her trick is you always paint your background with nougat and then when you stamp the image on top you've, it's much easier to then add colour to the face because you can't, if you're using the fresco paints you don't just want to start with a white paper background if you coat all the paper first with nougat it's much easier to blend other shades of paint on top or if you get too much colour, then it's easy to remove it as well. Whereas if it's straight onto paper, obviously the paint's just going to suck straight down into the paper. So that's her trick of how to get the shading on the face. And don't forget, you don't have to use nougat. You could use chalk or you could use blush. Or if you want to go into richer face colours, you know, then you might want to start with buff and mix other colours of paint in there. Here's another amazing sample from Liz. I really think these stamps are suited to having like lace and the ribbons, other elements and she's painted um, a die cut piece here and I think she might have used liquid leaf paint on some of these elements. Is Either that or she's then base coated and used treasure gold white fire. I'm not sure which. Oh she is white fire. Beautiful. And this one here, again, it's the lady from plate five. And I hope you can see what I mean about the layered elements and how she's cut and layered them up. And the same with the flowers here. There's about three or four layers going on in there. It's amazing. The art shape looks a really good frame for that too. And then she tends to add little more dimensional embellishments with flowers and then finally this one's from plate four and she's actually put a layer of resin or it could be UT, it might be UT actually over the top of this which it always adds a sort of real warm tone when you do that and uh, it just makes the plaque really pop with the shiny layer on top of there and look at how she's treated the little bee here or wasp and his wings two or three layers so so elegant and I love how she's colored these flowers and the shades of the yellows little touches of purple coming through in there too so there you have it a really feminine elegant a range of stamps from Liz Bora um, do take a look at the Paper Artsy blog for more ideas and samples with these stamps and don't forget these are available now from your favorite Paper Artsy stockist.